Hi everyone. So uh, the new year is upon us and we are making our way surely, uh, slowly but surely into the year 2023. So I wanted to uh, share with you my top 10 teas of 2022. The teas I drank the most and enjoyed the most and just really um, made part of my daily weekly routine. So uh, these are in no particular order, but I am going to share my favorite one for the last tea. Um, but they are in no particular order. I'll be happy to put them in order if you guys would like. Um, just let me know in the comments. Um, and after I do my top 10 teas of 2022, I'm going to do my favorite beauty products of 2022. Um, so, you know, I, keep in mind I'm 42 years old, so <laughs> these beauty products are a little <laughs> geared towards the aging woman. <laughs> but uh, so here we go. I'm going to start with... Um, espresso yourself I do have this tea from Davis tea in a loose leaf form um, and I do have a 10 ounce tin of it and I bought a bunch of bagged tea bags from Davis tea when I found out they were discontinuing the tea this year so I'm really sad espresso yourself is a wonderful tea it's really good iced or hot it is a little stevia heavy so I don't put any sweetener in it um, it's really good on its own it's wonderful as a high, hot latte or an iced latte um if you know me or if you've watched maybe even one or two of my videos i mention <laughs> espresso yourself a lot um, and have shared with many other tea enthusiasts my um affinity for this particular tea it's so good it's just a black tea and it has um organic black tea organic roasted chicory root organic cinnamon organic coffee beans natural coffee cream and sweet flavoring so this is wonderful. If you can get yourself a bag of it or if you have some sitting in your tea cupboard, make yourself a cup. It is so good and it's high caffeine so it'll get you through your morning with a, a wonderful flavor and just give you a positive spin on things. It always does me. Sorry if you can hear that little noise in the background. That's my cat eating. Apologies. Um, she's a she's a loud eater. Um, the next tea, um, one of my favorites from 2022, is the David's Tea Organic Hojicha. Um, I also gave this as a gift to my brother, and he loved it. It has that beautiful toasty, roasty flavor, and it is just so natural and wonderful. As you will probably see, I love the organic teas. You don't have to worry about pesticides and chemicals and all those toxic, horrible things when it says organic. So that is when I see something's organic I always want to try it if it's good I will buy it because there are so few things um, that are kind of untouched in that kind of chemical way so organic hojicha it is delicious if you like genmaicha you'll probably love hojicha so um that's what I have to say about that next tea is morning detox um this wasn't on the site for a little while from david's tea and then they came uh, they brought it back and it is so so good and i usually don't believe in detox teas i, I think it's kind of you know load of horse pucky but um there are really great ingredients it's the taste that i'm in love with with this tea it's the way this tea makes me feel and honestly i don't care if it's placebo effect this tea is good it is not an organic blend um, but these ingredients are uh, green tea turmeric ginger orange peel carrot rose hip lemongrass peppermint rose pepper moringa leaves green mate um, black pepper, apple cider vinegar powder, and natural mint lemon flavoring and marigold blossoms. This is one of my favorite teas of all time. And when it was off the site, I was desperately trying to get my hands on some thinking it would never return to the site again. But it had, it did return and it was on the site when those mega uh, Black Friday sales were going on. So I got, um, I think I got 10 ounces, which is about 250 grams whatever it is uh, whatever it translates to in grams I 
got a lot of this tea and for good reason because I drink it a lot. I drink it first thing in the morning, especially on the weekends. And it is such a great tea to wake up to and have. It's really refreshing. If you don't like mint, stay away from morning detox. It's a very, very minty tea. And by reading the ingredients, you wouldn't think so because of the primary ingredients, but it is extremely minty. So if you don't like mint, I would not buy that tea. If you do like it, you're gonna love that tea. It is so great and has those wonderful herby flavors with the mint too, which I love. Um, organically digestive. Um, this is a wonderful tea. I have a huge tin of it because I drink it so much um, after a meal, before bed. Those fennel seeds really add this wonderful, like warming, soothing kick to the tea. Um, the ingredients in this one are orange peel, apple mint, organic ginger, organic fennel, peppermint, orange peel, natural mango and peppermint flavoring. This is one of my favorite teas of all time. And I, from the bottom of my heart, thank Stacy from As The Tea Brews. She has a wonderful channel on YouTube and I suggest if you like tea, you check her out. Obviously, if you watch content like this, you've probably seen her and seen her videos. So definitely um, check her out. But she's the reason why I tried this tea because she is such a huge fan and always sings its praises. So that is the reason why I tried it in the first place. And, um, noticed it so stacy from the bottom of my heart thank you for introducing me to one of my favorite teas of all time next one we have blood orange boost uh this is not an organic tea but it is so so good it's a green tea and it's one of my favorite to alternate hot and iced i love this hot it is so soothing and wonderful in the afternoon it gives you just the teeniest boost of energy because it's a low caffeine tea as you can see right here it's got the single dot that means low caffeine um two dots means moderate caffeine and three is high caffeine obviously if you're a genius you can figure that out <laughs> um but yes this tea is awesome it contains apple green tea hibiscus blossoms orange peel rosemary natural blood orange flavoring gaba green tea roasted chicory root orange pieces olive leaves and stevia extract despite this having stevia in it is not a stevia heavy tea and i do add just a teensy bit of honey to it usually an orange blossom honey but anything will do because this has rosemary in it so if you want something a little more intense if you want something like wildflower honey or or what have you you know feel free to uh, to add whatever you want to it and if, when I make it as an iced tea I use agave because it's um, much less viscous than honey and it really dissolves beautifully into your uh, cold water or even if you start with hot water and then add ice like Davis tea suggests um, you know like kind of flash brew it with the ice and so forth but um, my favorite way to, to make this is to cold brew it in the refrigerator overnight and then take the tea leaves out in the morning and you've got a beautiful blood orange boost iced tea and uh, this past summer I took this to the beach a lot on walks with my son to the park and I just love this ice star hot I, I can't get enough and it smells oh my gosh it smells so good the orange and lemon peel it just is like a spa in a can <laughs> I love it anyway look at the smile I just put on my face like can you believe that <laughs> it's a great tea um, peppermint cream from bird and blend I have some huge I was really hard to pick these teas I just want to say that it was really really difficult to say oh wow you know this is my favorite but this is my favorite too like it took me a while to, to pick these teas I kept like picking one and then putting one back and picking another one and putting one back it's you know I'm sure other people that have made these videos have done the same thing peppermint cream is a wonderful uh, milk oolong peppermint tea from bird and blend and it is so soothing and delicious especially in the cold winter months but I drink this all year round um, it's described as velvety milk oolong, smooth cocoa, and sweet peppermint. The ingredients are Guangzhou milk oolong, peppermint, cocoa shells, and that is it. A very simple tea with an excellent, wonderful flavor. It tastes like a peppermint patty minus the chocolate. Pumpkin Earl Grey. I have been drinking this tea so much this fall from like late August all the way through the end of November, even halfway through, three quarters of the way through December. I have been drinking this tea like crazy. I've been drinking it in the morning to work. I've been taking it to work with me. I have been having a cup when I get home and because it's got the, um, the moderate caffeine level, it's really, um, it's not one of those teas where I feel like, uh, yeah, you know, I may not want to drink this. No, it's okay. Um, 
you can definitely drink this uh, after four. I mean, I can. I can have a lot of caffeine um, later at night. It, it is a medium, it's a moderate caffeine, but I can manage a cup of this at like four or five and still have no problem falling asleep at like nine or 10. But that's just because I run around like an animal, <laughs> exhausted no matter what kind of caffeine levels are in my body. Um, it's literally like that. Um, pumpkin pie matcha. I drink this hot. I drink this iced. I absolutely love it. I cannot get enough. Whenever I, I see it on sale um, on the site, I pick it up. I'll get a tin of it if it's on sale. I get a few 50 gram bags. If I could buy this in bulk, I would absolutely do that. This is such a wonderful tea. It's so creamy. They've really captured the pumpkin pie essence in this tea. And you can still taste the wonderful matcha in the background. It's got that beautiful grassy note, that wonderful, you know, that green tea flavor that we all crave. And it's also so creamy and decadent. This is just a wonderful matcha to have. This is great to have on the weekend. Make it with some pumpkin oatmeal or some a pumpkin pie pancakes with a little whipped cream on top. It is so good. Or if you just want to have a treat for yourself, if you're um, if you're staying healthy uh, on the holidays or Thanksgiving or Christmas, make one of these as a latte for yourself with some whipped cream on top and a little bit of cinnamon. I mean, that is a dessert in and of itself. So I just wanted to share these things with you. I mean, um definitely share with me how you like to indulge with your teas and those things don't replace you know your desserts in my world I don't think you should try to replace your desire for things with tea I just psychologically that messes with me because I Dana DeStefano said this and she has a, a wonderful uh, channel on YouTube all about teas uh, and I'm really sad because she's leaving YouTube so Dana, we're going to miss you so much. Um, you are the reason why I share my love of tea. And I don't want to, I don't do this for free tea. I really honestly don't care about any of that stuff. I don't want views. I never tell people to give me the thumbs up or subscribe. I mean, I, I literally honestly don't care about that. I just want to share my love of tea with people and just find a way to reach out to other tea lovers um, to find out what their loves are too. Because if we have this... If we have this in, sorry, my cat's being a weirdo. If we have this in common, then, you know, I'm sure we have other things. You know, people who are passionate about tea are very often some of the most awesome people I have ever met in my life. Um, and that's really the truth. Next tea is s'mores chai. It's so many people love this tea. It is so good, just plain. I never make it as a latte, and I really should. But it is so dang good just on its own that I literally don't need to. Whenever you open this up, it's like, oh my God. I just want to miniaturize myself and dive into that beautiful uh, array of tea leaves and mini marshmallows and beautiful chai spices and graham cracker crumble. I mean, that is just decadence and beauty in a can. And like, let's get that steeping and let's drink that so we can be happy and feel good like we deserve to. Okay, let's just do that immediately. And the piece de resistance of my collection, my favorite tea this year is, I don't think anybody's going to be surprised if you know me at all, um, it is Coconut Milk Oolong from Bird and Blend. Uh, I have been loving this tea for about, I don't know, nine months, now ten months. Uh, I absolutely love this tea. The flavor, I'm actually drinking it right now. I can't get enough. The nice thing about Bird and Blend is that if you love a tea, like truly love a tea, you can buy like literally a pillow sized bag of the tea. You can get like 150 or, oh uh, no, what is it? Uh, it's a big, it's like, I think it might be 500 grams of tea in a bag. It is a huge bag. And I did get one. I got the Snowball huge bag, which is like you literally use it as a pillow. You could put a pillowcase on it and bring it on an airplane and use it as a pillow. That's how much tea is in the dang bag. Um, but I love that about them is you can buy in bulk and it's not, you're not saving a huge amount of money. It's just, you're buying in bulk so you can have your favorite tea on hand or, you know, whatever, share it with friends. But coconut milk oolong, it is so smooth and rich and creamy and decadent. And it's got that beautiful oolong flavor and the coconut in it just really wraps itself around that oolong flavor so beautifully. And it takes you for this 
oolong rye that is so um, luxurious and wonderful. And I, whenever I take my first sip of this tea, it just reminds me that everything's going to be okay. This is my cup of everything is going to be okay. And um, I thank Burn and Blend for giving me those moments. <laughs> I need more of them. So um, what are you steeping? What are you brewing? What are you sipping? I want to know what your favorite teas of 2022 were. And um, if you have any questions for me about any of these teas, feel free to let me know. And now we're going to move on to my favorite beauty products of 2022. So if you're not interested, if you're only interested in the tea portion, you can uh, skip on ahead to your next YouTube video. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go on to uh, share with folks some of my favorite beauty items of 2022. Um, one of them is this Winky Lux. Uh, this is called Blue Light Protection and Nourishing Repair Serum uh, with blue light shielding marine actives, caffeine, vitamin F with... Uh, linoleic acid, mango, and banana fruit extract blend. So this is supposed to protect your skin uh, from the stresses of blue light. And anyone that uses a smartphone or uses a high def TV or any of those things, you're gonna be constantly exposed to blue light. And I know red light therapy is very good for this, I've heard. I actually am dying to try red light therapy, but I haven't quite gotten around to it and it's quite expensive. Um, but if any of you guys know about red light therapy, please leave a comment because I'm really curious about um, where you can do it and if you can buy an affordable unit uh, to use at home. So yeah, this is a great product and it is a blue light shield. And if anybody knows anything about it or if you've used it, definitely let me know. I do notice that my eyes and my forehead don't look as tired at the end of the day when I use this, especially in the morning on my way to work and things. Um, but even when I'm not at work, I'm, I'm on my phone. I, you know, at night I use my iPad to read my, my books and, and, um, and things like that and you know read uh, the newspaper and magazines and things like that articles and stuff so and of course buy tea <laughs> i'm constantly buying tea on tea websites i probably have like 400 um tabs open on my chrome for all tea companies <laughs> like maybe not 400 but 40 is definitely in the realm of possibility um another product i loved this year so much now that I'm getting older, I'm really into oil cleansers, and um, this is one of my favorite oil cleansers. It's from Origins. You guys know I love Origins. Uh, cleansing oil with radiance boosting white and purple rice. Um, this smells so beautiful. This is just a sample size, but I do have a larger one. I didn't want to drag it out, but what a fabulous smelling item. I know fragrance isn't great to have in products, but it's very mild. And as far as toxins in products, Origins is pretty good. It's better than most um, major beauty um, companies as far as ingredients. Drunk Elephant. Um, we were talking about toxins. So this is a wonderful brand as far as not putting toxins in their products and not exploiting people who are uh, extracting these products from our planet. So um, if you want to know more about them, I would definitely suggest uh, going on a drunk elephants website to find out more about their products because they have a wonderful array of really nice luxury beauty items skincare and cosmetics and they are top quality uh, this is a really beautiful bronzing booster you can use it uh, by itself but I very often add a few drops of this to my foundation and then you can skip the the bronzer piece I mean it, it, you can definitely still use it if you want to but using cream products is um, it really um, makes you look not as old when you um, when you're doing your makeup and you're getting older and you can't afford injectables and things like that. So, um, and another item is the lipstick I'm wearing right now, which is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy. So this is such a beautiful um, item. I literally just. Um, open this up and I just very softly press it on my lips I don't go like this with it I just very softly tap it on and it gives you this beautiful matte look it really gives you like a plumping matte look which is very rare to get uh, with a matte finish and um, this one is called cool intentions c-o-o-l intentions and i use this uh, with maybelline's color sensational shaping lip liner in gone grige g-r-i-e-g-e -E. 
104. Um, this is a really great lip liner. It's like a very dark taupey purple, and it's really beautiful with um, with uh, neutral browns or like those like silvery gray colors uh, with brown tones in them, like the very cool browns. It's a great liner with those types of colors. And anything matte or shiny, you can wear it like with a matte shade or lipstick or gloss it doesn't matter this is a really versatile wonderful lip liner and there's no need to spend you know 22 dollars on a lip liner where you can get a wonderful one at the drugstore that's just as good and and doesn't bleed i've had this on for at least 30 40 minutes and it has not bled and i didn't even use like a clear pencil on my lips or anything it's just not bleeding and i smoke and i've smoked for 20 years so uh it's really it's quite a feat that it's not bleeding to be honest and um, let's see, I have these oils from Sephora are $5. Um, I believe these are unrefined oils, which is always wonderful. And this is a, a multi-purpose, anything that has like multi-uses, I love. Um, so this is a hemp oil for face, body, and hair. So you can literally use this on your face and body and hair. And I use this a lot for my foot massages when I was pregnant. I did a lot of prenatal yoga and a lot of prenatal yoga has like a foot massage at the end of it. And I loved using the hemp oil when I did my foot massages. They also have a coconut one that's wonderful. And I loved using that to take off my eye makeup, to take off um, waterproof um, mascara and things like that. And any type of matte lipstick that's really difficult to get off, these oils are your answer. They're super moisturizing, they get the job done, and they work like nothing. If you have anything sticky on something, it's like Goo Gone. It really works, you know, minus the chemicals. <laughs> um, so this is just a wonderful product. Um, hemp oil rich in omega-3 and omega-6 leaves skin and hair suppler and revitalized. Um, so I just, I absolutely love this so much and I love, there is one more that you can try. I don't know what it is and they're $5. Um, so of course I got the hemp and the coconut and they are so, so good. So I really re recommend trying these and I can't quite find the ingredients list here. It is so tiny. Um, but these ingredients are all natural. This is like unrefined. There's no, there's also no mineral oil in this, which I always look for mineral oil. If anything says it has mineral oil in it, eh, not getting it. Um, so, and here we are. We're at our last products here. Um, my favorite product of 2022, especially when you're talking about skincare, is my Guasa um facial tool it's like a, a rejuvenating tool i started doing about a little over a year ago i started doing jade rolling a wonderful for lymphatic drainage relaxation depuffing um it's great for fine lines and wrinkles it's really a great de-stressor it's like you know when you get a facial and uh the esthetician gives you that beautiful massage on your face and it makes you glow and feel flush like you know you just had an experience <laughs> I don't want to say it but yeah um, it's it's like that it's it makes you feel so good and it gets all of those yucky toxins out of your skin and um, you can just look up a YouTube video on how to use one of these um, try to find if you buy like a certain shape there's tons of different shapes that you can choose from and there's also different um, minerals and rocks that you can choose from this particular one is rose quartz but you can get jade you can get um, amethyst you can get all different types um, but this one happens to be rose quartz and there are different properties in the uh, the crystals that will um, you know do certain things and help you with certain things if you believe in that um, I don't know if you do I for one you know do believe in things I think it's better to just believe things and um, see later if they are not true I think it's better to just be an optimist but anyway, um, when you're doing a guasa, you want to have a really good emollient, something that's going to make the tool glide easily over the skin. And that is where this product comes in. One of my favorite all-time skincare products next to Honey Halo from Pharmacy. This is Clarins Blue Orchid Treatment Oil. This is so luxurious. I absolutely love this product. It's a little pricey. I think it's like $68 or something. Moisturizes, restores, radiance, dehydrated skin. 
100% plant extracts. That's it. I mean, this is an extremely beautiful luxury item. It smells so good. And it is, um, when you use this in conjunction with the Guasa tool, you feel like you could do anything. It is such a wonderful, calming, balancing. It just kind of centers my chi when I do it. And it makes me feel um, good. It makes me feel like, you know what? I deserve to take a moment to myself and do something nice for myself. And we don't do that enough. So I personally am encouraging you to love yourself and do something nice for yourself today. Do something um, that makes you feel good, whether it's like an ice cream sundae or a pedicure or, um, you know, just stay home and do a facial mask and read a book or something. Um, you know, something that makes you feel like, you know, all the hard work that you do is recognized. If nobody else recognizes it, do it yourself because nobody else sometimes is going to give you a pat on the back that you deserve. So be kind to yourself. And if you do that, then you can't help but be kind to other people. It all starts, you know, in here. It's an inside job. I don't know why I got way off track. I digress. So anyway, I want everybody to have a super happy and wonderful 2023 and let me know what your favorite teas and favorite beauty products were of the year 2022. Um, I had a nice 2022. I did. I learned a lot professionally and, um, you know, uh, my son is two. He just turned two. So, you know, we're in the, the toddler time. It's a very, you know, it's stressful. The terrible twos are really challenging. Um, but we have stepped up to the challenge. We are facing the challenge head on and we are going to get through this. It's really tough some days, but other days are wonderful. So um, I just, I wanna wish everybody a, a wonderful 2023. I hope you had a great holiday season and I will definitely see you for the next cup.